Hey everybody, welcome back. Give this a few minutes to pop out there and give people some notifications. We'll get the rest of everything set up. Once you pop in there, just give me a shout out. Happy Sunday. Happy Easter. Hope you guys are doing good. Hey, I appreciate you joining. What's up, John? What's up, Keith? Steve. Dash. EDC Life. Therapeutic Edge. What's up, Penny? What's up, Mike? And Michael. Jesse's here. Morgan's here. Hey, hey, hey. Michael. Yeah, just want to do a little live show today. What's up, Dash? Knife Guy. C. Lemansky. Dane. What's up, Dane? What's up, OC Omega? Henson Barry from Colorado, NC EDC. Nice. Do a little update, show you guys some newer, older knives, some older stuff that I got on the channel. What's up, Patrick? Oh, that's good. I'm interrupting Easter. Well, my apologies. Happy Easter. I just got home from work a little bit ago. Wanted to fire it up. See what you guys are up to. Put a couple knives out here for Easter Sunday special. Thanks, Menace. I appreciate it. Good to see you guys. What's up, Steven? Thanks. Have a couple knives I want to show on here. Oh, that's no fun being sick, EDC Life. What's up, Crystal? Happy Easter. Oh, cleaning the mini grip. Nice. What's up, Tom? Got a few knives on here. What's up, OCD for EDC? Justin. Rodney, what's happening, buddy? Got a little trade from Rodney this last week. I didn't think I'm going to be able to show it all off. Yeah, those vefserations. Nothing wicked like it. Little purple rain. This one has a little color shift to it. Color shift anno. What's up, Jersey Knife Guy? No, we're going to show them all off. Had this one up there a little bit ago. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, so this one, you know, some titanium handles from Rock Scale Design. Had some anno work done on it from him he did a little color shift blue purple the blurple oh good you got them polished up right on yeah it's pretty nice and this is my uh purple mini bug out Henson, just send me an email or send me a message on instagram a dm get you dialed in there a little proper sheep's foot this has some titanium scales they were originally flitanium ones. Oh, that's a bummer, Steve. Yeah. And then had some anno done to it. They turned out pretty nice. So I figured for this kicking off Sunday, Easter Sunday special, we'd show those off a little bit. Has some stuff I want to show you from my collection that you guys may or may not have seen yet. Also gonna unbox the, oh, I got another purple one I should show off here, it's beautiful. This is my uh, kind of a smaller fixed blade from Pearson Custom Knives. Beautiful G10 work. Handle, shape is just amazing. It just fits perfect for me. So, that's a beautiful one right there. I'm going to put that in with these. Move these up a little bit. Uh, well, thanks, Morgan. No, I spent some time collecting these for sure, and appreciate everybody that's helped me out. So, yeah, hit that like button. That'd be great. Got some cool purple knives for today. Got some other ones coming up as well. What are you guys carrying today? It's about 37, 38 of you here. What are you guys carrying today? 
Oh, all right, EDC Life. I appreciate you stopping in, man. Definitely, I do. Really appreciate that. Get better. 940-1. Nice, nice. One right here. Very nice. What's up, Mark? Oh, the Elite. The CF Elite. Nice. Stormtrooper. Mini Bug Out. Pair of three lightweight. Nice. Mini Grip. And the ZT 0460. 940. A sweet Spyderco K2. Custom Crooked River. Nice, Hinson. What does yours look like? Got the Skinny Skinner. Advocate. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Boker Kalashnikov. Morgan's got the 535. Always waiting on the... Oh, yeah. The REI one. That one's nice. Case Stockman. Just got a Benchmade Mediator. Oh, nice. Right on, CJ. Yeah, we're trying to keep everybody from their chores. So... Probably that, that nasty weather that you got there, Steve, too. Oh, we got a Spyderco Shopper all today. Nice. Purple color knives right on. Bailout M4. Mind blown. One of these guys right here. Yeah. Black and blue matching minis. Nice. All right, Patrick. Eat some dinner. I appreciate you stopping in. Come back if you're uh, in the neighborhood. Might do a giveaway later. Want the proper and the fixed blade. Yeah, they're beautiful. Well, I know the fixed blade, you can definitely hook that up pretty easy. Get a hold of Pearson Custom Knives on Instagram. Farron Forge, Archbishop. Got the, Apollo's got the G10. Gonzo 761, Book Rate K47. 530, now PM2 left-handed. Oh, nice. Man, that's nice. 391, BK SOCP. Nice. Oh, John's throwing down, man. He's got the 15085-201. I think he's talking about this one right here. That beauty. Yeah, they're gorgeous. And I would have done that, except I had to go to work today. So I, don't, I didn't trust myself carrying this one to work again. <laughs> very nice, John. Very nice. Oh, you got a hold of them last night? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. With a Titan, right on. Oh, the Bone Tribal. Jigbo Mini Trapper and Leatherman Whip. Oh, sweet. Sweet. Well, I brought in a whole bunch of stuff on my knives. I also pulled up a whole bunch of stuff out of my case. Hey, <laughs> Big Red, thanks, man. Happy Easter, brother. That was very nice of you. Thank you. I will put that to good use. I have some knives coming in for giveaway, so that'll go to good use. But yeah, putting these out, um, going through these. You've seen most of those already, but I have those on standby just in case you guys need to see it. It is, it is. And then we also have, let's see, I'll put this over here, off to the side somewhere. Hopefully safely so it doesn't fall apart. Yeah, happy Easter, everyone. And I want to show a couple knives. I want to see, let me put some of these away. And I want to show you guys a couple knives that are in my collection that you guys may not have seen yet. And I kind of want to get your guys' opinion. So let's see, which one should we leave out here? We've seen the mini bug out quite a bit. Maybe we'll leave these two up here. Big red. Man, had an awesome Saturday Night Live last night. So cool. And just so you guys know, they don't sponsor, but... Uh, Southern Edge Knife Works is still doing the free shipping in the U.S. Uh, international $15.99 and 15% 15 off using the ZAC15, Z-A-C-H-15 discount code. So on anything they carry, and they'll get, get stuff for you too. So that is kind of cool. What's up, Randy? Randy's in the house. So here's the first one I wanted to show you guys. I do like the Mini Griptilian. I do like them. So I don't know if you guys have seen these before. Let me open it up. It's got a safety switch on the back. No thumb studs. You just pull back on the access lock. It comes flying out. This is more of a rubberized handle material. And this is your metal up here. What's up, Triple EDC? Yeah, doing good. Doing good. Happy Easter. Want to show off some older knives in my collection. 
as long as with some uh, along with some newer ones. So, wonder if you guys can can pop out a name on this one. Hopefully, I don't uh, show off any tr any number numbers on it. What's up, mild mannered? Yeah, triple E's here. But yeah, this one's made in the USA. It was made by Benchmade when they were still doing the HK line. Just a beautiful one. Yeah, so it's a beauty. So if one of you guys come up with a name on that one, we kind of some good trivia for you. Getting pretty close. Yeah, no masks on them yet, Steven. <laughs> yeah, it's got a cool thumb ramp. Definitely, Justin. And it, and it goes like, the cool part is it starts, as you can see from the just the back side, and ramps up nicely. And so it, it's just, I mean, it fits, you know? And it's even got a little cutout for your index finger here. And the cool part is, right or left-handed carry and right or left-handed operation because you're just pulling back on the access lock. So, pretty cool stuff. And of course, it's got the solid split arrow. Seven years to go. I've seen two of them now, two answers. But yeah, so kind of cool stuff. Get the snotty going on there. Some cool older knives out of my collection. All right, Dane, thank you so much for joining and staying up, man. I really appreciate it. I know you're like 11 hours ahead of us or whatever, so bless you very much for staying up. But I want to show off a couple others. Entourage. Let's see here. You guys will probably get this one. Yeah, you guys will get them all. You're smart like that. Yeah, the VEF, Vef ones are nice. So here's another one that I've picked up. Just got kind of a coating to the blade. Let me clean it up. Wipe it off here a little, little tiny bit. But it's got just that little bit of coating stone wash to it. It's got some gunk on there, sorry about that. But nice carbon fiber, nice anode liner barrel spacers, kind of a cool old one out of my collection. Ones that I haven't reviewed yet. Saw one of these with uh, some hardwood on it on eBay, a little carbon fiber, but you don't often see the full carbon fiber too much. So what's up, Keith? <laughs> Pre-order giveaway. Heck yeah, man. You can pre-order it. Just can't guarantee it's going to be in your name, but we'll work on that. Yeah, it pops right out there. It is a throwback, so. Oh, good question, Morgan. Yeah, I'm going to say it's like early 2000, shortly thereafter. YD, thank you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What's up, Spirit Whiskey? Oh, drawing some backups for giveaways. Yeah, I've seen that. Kai Kai, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Chris, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Made it live. Nice. Yeah, so I'm going to put the proper away. Rotate another one out there. You guys all uh, staying local with the family or... Seen a few people out kind of violating the stay at home rule. Yeah, definitely. OCD. You got it. Yeah, I saw a couple of you guys answer it, so appreciate you guys. Let's see. Morgan says, Here's a question I've never heard you answer. You have a lot, and I mean a lot of benchmarks. Do you have one of the Bollies? I do have one. Uh, I do have a 51, it's in green, and I've, I think I've done a review on it early on in my channel, 
Um, probably it's probably like a year and a half or so ago. It's probably one of the first like ten videos I've ever done was of that uh, bally. So six ninety, nice. Oh, we're all headed to Big Reds, man. Getting the girls some steaks. Yeah, the time tunnel, definitely. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting, you know. I've I've heard the rumors on the street about maybe some new ones coming out. I don't know, so. Oh, thanks, Steve. I appreciate it. Yeah, happy Easter. Happy Easter, definitely. Yeah, they're fun. I've been practicing with it, so. Yeah, it, that's actually one of the, like, the few ones I didn't grab and bring with me. Um, because it's one of those, like, I don't know. I'll probably cut myself, and that's why I try to keep it out of the room. But I will go I will go grab it in just a second. All right, Triple E. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, we'll come back if you want, man. We'll probably be doing a giveaway here in a little while. So let's grab another one. You guys have probably seen this on my Instagram. Uh, featured a couple, couple pictures I put out there. And what's up, Chad? Welcome, welcome. Mr. Big Winner from last night on Big Red's channel. Got this one right here. Pretty, pretty cool one. Yeah, definitely. We'll check out Justin's OCD for EDC. The foray. I like the foray. Yeah, I do have one. I have a really cool one I'll show you too. It is not a switchback. It has the blue anode liner. This is the 960. It's in D2 tool steel. What's up, Jock's Knife? Welcome. And I think I can get it on there. Yeah, the 960. Got that light kind of bright here. Hold on, let me turn it down a little bit. With that, I'll bring some more color out of these knives. A little less shine there. But yeah, it's you know it's basically comparing it to like a 940. So let's move this one up, and let's see where's that 940. Just had it here. Here we go. So there's your 940. And there's your 960. So kind of a, just a little bit smaller blade, a little bit smaller everything. So kind of cool how they're doing it. You know what I mean? So yeah, really nice little inlay G10 with the aluminum handles. And it's pretty nice. So they made those early 2000s, those kind of things. So they made a couple different styles, a couple different colors. I made some Harley Davidson ones. They had a couple different contracts going at the time. So yeah, uh, let's see, let's look at another one here. I put some scales on kind of a classic. Nice, cleaning the grill. But got a Doug Ritter mini grip, an S30V from Benchmade. I put some G10 scales on it. This is a cool one. I love the way how it ramps up, you know. These mini mini grips are just, especially the, the Doug Ritter ones were nice. So, real nice, kind of a heavier stone wash. Uh, let me grab a mini grip here. I have a little bit older one laying around. It's one you guys probably saw. But you can see kind of, kind of how the blade shape. A little bit, little bit further down on that thumb ramp, so it just kind of makes it a little smoother for you. But, yeah, it definitely makes it look like the, the Hogue one. And I think, you know, Doug was, especially SHOT Show, he was kind of hemming and hawing, like, half hinting about, you know, because I ran to him and his wife and chatted with them for a while. Super nice people if you ever meet them. Um, but here's the Hogue Ritter, the full-size one. So you can see just that blade shape. Yeah, it looks like a Benchmade. And from what I heard is there's one that was designed like this in the Benchmade setup, even with the handles, prior to him down it in with Hogue. So kind of interesting overall, but I still love the, the mini grip one. From what I got from back in the day. 
Uh, no, it's probably like early 2000s when they were doing these Doug Ritter ones. Because they stopped maybe, I don't know, five to seven years ago now. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know if you can swap them straight out because the way the internals are. Yeah, excellent users. They stay super sharp. What's up, Sign Painter? Yeah, I love it. So, very similar to the Freak uh, and the Mini Freak, which on that tray, I did have a Mini Freak. I just had to find which one it was. We'll get that mini freak out there in just a minute. Now, I wanna see, since you guys are walking down memory lane with me on the Benchmades a little bit. If, let's see here. No, I can't show that one. Let me try a different one here. <laughs> Long story, but yeah. This one's been one of my favorites lately, especially carrying. Has been a mini bone collector. Because it kind of fits in that, that realm of just a little bit bigger than a, than a mini griptilian. But it gives off that G10 handle. You, know, you got that kind of rip, rip, you know, uh, almost reptilian look. Hey, nice, Chad. Right on. Yeah, it's kind of got a green and black tint to it. Kind of a layered look, you can see. Yeah, a mini Hogue Ritter would be awesome. And I really hope that, you know, they pop one out this year. It would be kind of cool. Just to add to the collection in comparison. I know Benchmade. I don't know if you saw Benchmade, but I've been playing around with it the last couple days. They put on, this isn't one of them, but they put on um, new scale materials. So you can do carbon fiber, you can do different G10, you can do uh, the Damasteel blade now. These are death grip scales. Uh, death grips, death of all things, death grips on Instagram. C Tech inlay, black G10. Just beautiful on a mini grip. But yeah, Benchmade put on their customizer, their new the knife shop. They put it on there now. Put that one up. Man, Randy, I am with you 100% on the hollow grind. I totally wish they would go back to that, definitely. I want to see that, and I want to see different, uh, oh, what do you call it? Patterns for, like, the standard uh, FRN. Because, like, they did, some, they did some customized ones with um, Cabela's and all that for the handle material. So you had, like... Instead of the rough material, you had these kind of scale looking ones. Griptilians, yeah. And this is a Griptilian, this is a BK, full size. But I like this material better because it's not as uh, grippy as the standard. So I, I use that one quite a bit. Here's another oldie but a goodie out of the collection. That one is, yeah, D2. D2 on that one. Oh, really? I didn't have any, you know, Jason, I didn't have any grit on mine at all. Uh, one of the things I've done in the past is like take a number two pencil or mechanical pencil and I've actually put, you know, right where that meets up here, that's where you get some of your grit when it releases in the access lock right back there, back of the tang there. So I've put some lead right through there and just, you know, colored it on there. Like, you know, 
just take your pencil and and that actually helps because you know the graphite's actually a lubricant in that scenario even though it's dry and it works really good for some reason it's happened that way after i've cleaned some of my bug outs um because of the titanium access lock oh yeah the rei 530 yeah this one's a the oldie but a goodie i like the kind of the purplish red and black g10 on those yeah, it should work good, Jason. It, it, it Trust me, it's frustrated me numerous times. But it's one of those nice ones where you can just be like, let me see if this works. Um, because I got stuck one day right after I cleaned one of my bug outs. And it was one of the ones I use all the time. And I'm like, what in the heck? Like, it was super smooth. And then I cleaned it. And then, you know, all of a sudden it's like sticky and gritty. And I'm like, what? And so called in a favor and I'm like, hey. Need some help on it. Oh, it worked on your mini grip too. Yeah, with the pencil. Nice. Oh, you polished your access bars? Yeah. And you could do that too. Oh, you missed the ZT999 by six months? Oh, that sucks. Oh, the gold class took a few weeks? Yeah, that one's a little different too. So, we'll see how those set up. And I think you were mentioning uh, 530 REI. Like this one right here, 530 REI, got the green G10, S30V. The S30V, perfect split arrow clip for anyone. Yeah, and these are cool because the mechanism inside, you pull back the access and it automatically pulls the blade out. Um, which was kind of a cool feature. So, because these, uh, thumb studs sit right up against, you know, even though it's milled out right there, they sit right up against it. Uh, so these ones, I think were, these were on knives ship free. That one is right there. Oh, the red international one. That is a sweet one. What's up, Dave from Maui? How are you? Very jealous. I'd love to be where you are in Maui right now. Oh, really? I wonder if you got something stuck in there then on your mini if it couldn't close like that. Yeah, the red one's pretty sweet. I might actually have one here if we're showing it off. Hey, welcome back, Peter. Therapeutic Edge. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, one of the things I did was want to make sure to get one of these. I had to pay for it full price and all that because it was uh, international exclusive, 530, but it's gorgeous. I was trying to get a second one so I could, like, carry one every day and then but these are, they were limited to 300. So you can only get, there's only 300 out there. Yeah, usually it works better. Like this one's not even broken in yet. KPL should work. They put the mini deep carry on these, so that's kind of cool. But this one's gorgeous. The red G10, almost translucent too. Like when you get it to a certain point, you can kind of see right through it, so... I like this. I hope I would. It would be kind of cool if they did this in a bug out, G10 bug out with red. That'd be awesome. And speaking of international, I brought one out for you guys to see. Another international one out of my collection. I don't have it out too much usually. Oh yeah, good idea. They're the professionals. They can fix it. They've been doing great, by the way. I just want to let you guys know they've been having their staff back and work in and all that so it's been really good the store's still closed so kind of a bummer for me but they have kind of like a takeout service now so i can still call and bother them and order knives oh tie scales oh yeah chris i got a good good suggestion for you this is the international exclusive it's the 940-1801 uh, it's got aluminum scales 
It's got a cool looking backspacer, kind of Sweden based. Yeah, the 530 is really skinny and has that, that, uh, which one is this one? I'm trying to remember what the number was on it. 228. Got a silver polished split arrow clip. But very cool overall. You probably won't see me. I've carried this a couple times, but very limited use. But a beautiful knife that one is. International exclusive. Some of the people that I order it from, it's funny because they think like I'm a spy or something. Because they're like, why am I shipping it back? to where it was made from. <laughs> Had a very cool color combo. Now, you wanted to see some tie scales for a bug out. How about these tie scales? It's a critter pattern. Yeah, no, they got it. They got a great program that they're doing YD to bring those in. Bashy Designs has some gorgeous ones and I'll show you those in just a second. But these are titanium critter scales from Rock Scale Design. I put it on a standard 535, so you have your blue accents as well. It's got a really light anode to it and kind of a, a chalky color look to it, so it's not polished or anything. So I really like these and they hold up really well. And you can see a couple little tiny, you know, grease marks here, and then like a couple little scratches here from carrying it. But overall, I mean, even at this distance, you're not seeing any of that stuff. So pretty cool. Um, he usually puts his up on like Saturdays, like noon Pacific, any new stock that he has. So just keep an eye on his website for that. And let me look at Bashy for you. But I'll tell you the Bashy ones, I don't know if he's been, hey, there's 59 of you guys here. Thanks so much. There's been uh, some word on the street that he hasn't put anything out for a little bit. So I hope, he's, I hope he's not sick or anything and he's doing good. They would be awesome, very awesome on the black blade. And I had, I got these scales like a year and a half ago before the black blades came out. And I may have, is it this one? Oh, I'm knocking stuff over now. All right, I'm gonna stop on that. <laughs> so these are Bashy Design titanium scales on a black blade black barrel spacers this is the one that came out from um blade hq exclusive and you can't go wrong black hardware it's got a cool like stone wash to the titanium yeah they're still doing life sharp and all that i had i didn't have one serviced yet but i saw all their stuff that they shipped out one day when i stopped by there and they're shipping a ton out so these are like a Kind of a, a raw titanium look. So they kind of catch different types of light, but the contrast is great. The feel is amazing. They don't scratch up at all because they already got that stone wash. The texture, I mean, you got the smooth and the inside texture. It's just gorgeous. You know, shout out to the Lanyard fans. You still got that too. But yeah, this was a favorite of mine and still is. I've had like three people ask to purchase them from me because he's not selling any right now. So, oh, Justin, thanks, man. Really appreciate it. That's so awesome of you. Watch your next videos, not too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did Justin say? Did I miss that? Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, so Justin, I got some swapping videos for you. That's really good. I got some really good videos for you. So let me know if you don't find them on my channel. They're on there. I have a playlist for the bug out and for Benchmade. Uh, a lot of bug out videos in there. I got a lot of bug outs. Really cool stuff on them. You're welcome, Chris. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can do one at a time and go through there. I don't have any affiliate links, you know. I haven't really got into the affiliate link stuff. Um, even like the stuff with Southern Edge Knife Works. Hey, Mild Manor. Thanks, man. Happy Easter. Oh, thank you very much. That's super kind of you. Thank you. I really do appreciate that, you guys. That's going to go right into the giveaway that I'm having tonight. So <laughs> thank you, guys. I appreciate it. About 
25, 30 minutes away from that giveaway. But like the stuff with Southern Edge Knife Works, they don't give anything back to me. They basically just sent some knives out, said, hey, review them when you're done, send them back to me, um, and then create a discount code for you guys. So I dig that stuff. Um, thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. Happy Easter. But I don't get into the affiliate stuff too much right now unless, you know. But I know, like, um, you can just tell him I sent you. You know, he appreciates that. What's up, Blade Banner? Blade Banner's in the house. See you later, Menace. Do you have your Mini Freak with the G10 scales available for showing us? Why, I may have those close, Kark. Hold on just a second here. Yeah, there's a lot of beautiful ones. Uh, speaking of beautiful bug outs with beautiful scales. Let me just put these up here. That's some um, death grip. You could also get into dyeing them yourself, the stock scales. Hmm, it's an interesting comment. Hey, hey, John, thank you, man. Yeah, the Tengu. I'm so excited for the Tengu that's coming out. So excited. Yeah, the Rogue Scales are awesome. And he's got some on his website right now. Let me pull this up here. I'm trying to see where they went, or I might have unloaded them already. I like the 490, definitely. I am a fan of the 490. Let's see, where did my freak go, or my mini freak? Yeah, some good stuff going on there. Let me see where those went. Knives are just going all over the place here. So what's your, what's your guys' next bench made? I know you guys got some bench maids in mind. I'm always curious what everyone else is getting because that Tengu flipper looks great for me. I can't wait for that one to come out. I'm going to get one for a giveaway too because it's good. The Mediator, nice. Mediator's a good one. Luku, yeah. Full size Creek River. Yeah, those full size are nice, Justin. You'd probably love it. Mini Bug Outer Valet, 707. Oh, yeah, I, I saw 707, but... They're hard to find. Definitely. Well, I found my full size freak. Yeah, the inlay is awesome on that one, huh? It is the one that comes with a leather pouch, yeah. Bug out scales. Orange Creek River. Nice, nice. Or 62, you guys in here. Thank you so much. Appreciate all the love. Mini Presidio 2. Yeah, I love that one. Right here. You ever bought a knife which is better than you expected it to be for you? Yeah, I think... I'm trying to think which one, but I think what really opened my eyes, which to me at first I was like, yeah, I, I won't buy one of those. And it was blade shape, it was everything else. And to me I was like, it's not going to be good. And that was a... Mini Crooked River, or a full size. I was like, man, I don't like the shape. I don't, you know, the way the blade sweeps up. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, functional for what I like. Because I was big, and I still am, 940 guy. And I'm like, okay. It's got wood handles partially. I mean, all this stuff going on with it. And I was like, I just don't know if I'm going to like it. But it surprised me. Uh, another one that just surprised me was the... Uh, the Gobi. You guys saw my video on that. The CJRB Gobi. That one surprised me. I mean, I'm pretty. I mean, I'm pretty good with like the specs and everything and the materials Benchman uses. But just once I got this in hand, I'm like, it felt perfect, you know. And I've been carrying a whole bunch of them now. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. No, it's just one of those things where it's like. Uh, 
You know, I really, really like that stuff. And when I find something all of a sudden and I'm like, just like that CJRB Gobi, as soon as I got it, I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, Macarta Gobi would be awesome. They had some like crazy customs on their website and decided to get rid of them. Oh, Jade and S90V, that would be awesome, John. The Kershaw Tumblr, okay. Yeah, the other Kershaw that surprised me was the one that Randy loaned me, the Knockout. I haven't done Kershaw in a long time, but you guys saw that here like uh, a week ago or whatever. I was just like, I'm blown away by it. I'm like, holy cow, like, I mean, I put it on my list to buy, you know? But now you guys got me wondering. Oh, duh. That's why. My mini freaks in here. Yeah, exactly, Chad. That knockout is just, like, amazing. And, you know, and the thing is, I mean, they don't have a great reputation. Yeah, I mean, they're local to me. I mean, it takes me, like, 15, 20 minutes to drive to their place. So these are the two. Sorry about the glare. You have the... The standard issued, not standard issued, limited edition, bench made, super freak up here. I say super freak, but it's a full size freak. Uh, came with the it's limited edition one. Came with the JG10 split arrow clip. Pretty awesome. So Rogue Blade Works did something cool. Made some mini freak scales. I put it on our first production mini freak. The S30V. A little bit lighter colored here. A little bit more through they do not go in the dark i wish they did that would have been the, just the best because he did a uh, jg10 spacer as well benchmade did kind of that lime green one mine's a little dirty so i gotta clean it up because i do carry this one but yeah the m4 on this one coated i mean i've, I've cut it and resharpened it and you can't tell so uh let's see here what did we have? I just saw a question on here. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Kluver. <laughs> Randy asked, do I prefer Rogue's G10 or Carbon? Well, oh, you got an old school 420? Yeah, nice. Hey, hey, what's up, Ryan? Welcome. We were just talking about your knife here a little bit ago, showing it off. We are talking about this guy right here how the awesome work you did on it. And if you guys are looking for a compact fixed blade, this one's the best for me. Little Scout, I think it's called. I was mistaken called the Little Chief, but. Good stuff there. Now I want to show off another two other ones. And also I thought I had that. That other. Other mini freak you were talking about. The black and red 940 is my best one. Which one? The going gear or the Smoky Mountain Knife Works? Because I have a couple of them. And they're pretty awesome. Let's move some of these out of the way. Oh, the Going Gear one? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if these are going to... There we go. Move them up so they're visible. Yeah, Going Gear. Nice. Wonderful choice, wonderful choice. Have that one right here. 943 gets no love. You know, it's that blade shape, man. This one is amazing. G10, red c -Tech inlays, red barrel spacers, red thumb studs, deep pocket carry, CPM 20 CV. A little scratch on it there. Use your ish, right? Yeah, that one's hot. Hotness. Let 
Now, let's see here. Yeah, and I only say that about the 943 because I wasn't ever a fan of that blade shape. But I know a couple people that are. And that's like their favorite ever. Um, I actually took one of my 943s. Oh, here's the one I was looking for. It's hiding in plain sight. You guys asked about the carbon fiber or the G10 from Rogue Blade Works. And these are both on the Mini Freak. Both same design, same shape. You get a little texture out of this carbon fiber, so I like that. And it's a little bit lighter. You like the 943, Peter? Yeah. That's that's all good, though. I won't hold that against you. <laughs> hey, I, there, people love it. I mean, it's, you know, it's the shape that you like and the shape that you use. People thought I was crazy using the 940 for so long because of the reverse Tonto blade. And the mini free scales are great. He's got some on his site right now. I actually saw a set of like royal blue ones. They're like this color in G10. And they're fantastic. So, yeah, 67 of you guys. Thank you so much. We're at about 46 minutes. Here in about 10 minutes, I'll do a giveaway. I know some of you guys might jump off because Slicey Dicey just started. Which I'm going to have to talk to him about that because. I thought he was going to start at 5 o'clock tonight. He's starting a little early, so he's trying to compete, I think. No, I'm just kidding. No, that's all good. I, it would have been nice if he would have jumped in here. I had something for him, but that's all right. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. But two others I want to show you guys. One was the International Griptilian they did. You guys probably saw uh, my video on this one. Oh, Ryan, you like the 940? Yeah. But this is pretty cool. Oh, you like the 943? Okay. So it's kind of, they took the standard G10, did some die work on it, but got the Damasteel blade on there. The blue thumb studs, the liners, the barrel spacers all kind of just pop right out. Oh, that's cool, Randy. <laughs> yeah, the blue hardware and stuff. Yeah, I bet it looks really great. You can do some swapping like that and get some good parts going. Okay, cool, Justin. At 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, that's cool, Kark. Yeah, I mean, that's hard, you know. You get one of those and you're like, okay, do I keep with these? Do I keep the Griptilians? I will say, though, the sheep's foot ones, the Griptilians are awesome. Yeah, so definitely, John. Hey, what's up, Krista? Happy Easter. You can see the hidden butterflies in the blade pattern. And this is something that... Uh, Damasteel did specifically and only for Benchmade. So it's kind of a trick. I'm trying to remember what they called their uh, their Damasteel pattern on it, but it basically stands for butterflies. So it's pretty sweet. Yeah, definitely get a hollow grind sheep's foot Griptilian. They're an S30V um, or I'm sorry, 154 CM, but they don't make the hollow grinds anymore. So you got to find those. This is a hollow grind. It has the, the oval hole, which a lot of them don't anymore. They all have the circular hole, but, but yeah, the hollow grind's awesome. So one day I hope they go back to it, but that's one day. Now, one of you, uh, I'm trying to remember you guys were asking about the foray. I like the 4A. I really dig this one in the red Micarta. Yeah, the real, the yellow is cool on that, Jesse. That's why I had to pick that one up. It's from a guy here in Oregon. He was selling it. It's used, but is in great condition. Now, this 4A is, or was, a limited edition. Yeah, that was the dealer exclusive one. So... 
It was really hard to get. You know, it has a like a nitride coated clip. Yeah, definitely the oval hole one is the earlier version on these. You don't see too many of them. I have a green one and a yellow one. But yeah, that red micarta. I would love to get a second one of these just so I can carry one full time. I kind of limited carry with this one because I like to keep it for the collection. But size comparison wise, I mean, here's with your bug out. Yeah, I mean, look at the pivot, pivot work. I mean, that's fantastic. So, I mean, pretty similar to the bug out length and everything. So, to me, you can't go wrong with the 4A. A little bit thicker of a knife. You can see the thickness right there. But, overall, some gorgeous stuff. What's up, Rip City? What's going down? No, the giveaway is going to be... Uh, yeah, exactly, Randy. How many pockets do I have? The giveaway is going to be here in a few minutes, and uh, we're going to do it kind of just like we do with uh, Saturday Knife Live. So, appreciate you guys sticking around. We'll, uh, any requests, any knives you guys want to see that I haven't shown off? Anything you've seen lately that you're like, hey, I want to get a closer look on that one? Oh, nice, Brian. Yeah, you notice that a little bit, huh? There's a slight little upsweep right here in the blade, a little recurve almost. So on the giveaway, when I do my live giveaways, yeah, so we've been doing that for a little while. And basically, we just write down on a piece of paper two initials, something similar to A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. And then from there, get a piece of paper. From there, basically, I'll have you guys guess. I'll tell you when to, when to start, but not right now. I'm going to show off one more knife here. You want to see my favoritest of all. Oof. Okay, Jesse, let me get that going. A proper with aftermarket carbon fiber scales? I do. I do, definitely. Um, that's going to be... Um, let me see if I can grab it really quick. I got to think on my, on my favorites of all. Carbon fiber recurve on the bug out? Uh, I didn't see anything on the bug out. Top 10. There will be a top 10 video coming down as well as, hey, there's 71 of you guys. Thank you so much. As well as a um, Rodney. I'll sit this one out. I appreciate that. Maybe you can help me, Rodney. What's up, Jesse? Um, so let's see. We can go. Oh, thank you very much, Brandon. Yeah, the Munion pattern. Let me see on that carbon fiber. I had it right here. So here's a proper. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Chris. So this is Rogue Blade Works, some early version of his carbon fiber. Same sort of texture you have on the, the mini uh, freak right here. Yeah, 72, you guys. Thank you guys so much. It's got on the sheep's foot blade. I think it looks pretty good carbon fiber wise. I don't know if I have any of my other propers. Oh, I do. Here, hold on. Let's compare it to the uh, Benchmade version that just came out here this last year. This will actually be a really good comparison. So dark hardware on this one from the factory, um, coated liners. But the one on the bottom is from Rogue Blade Works Scales, and the top one's the new S90V model from Benchmade. Yeah, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. So anyways, both are fantastic. I love how sharp this S90V stays, um, and just a little bit of stropping goes a long way with those. Um, one of my one of my favorites for carrying around, this is what I've been carrying it with. Probably saw this on my Instagram, but I throw this in my pocket all the time. Got a little pen, Fisher Space pen, the bullet, kind of a blueberry electric blue. Um, Hitch and Timber makes that little pocket, proper pocket uh, caddy thing. What's up, Nick? Oh, you just bought that proper? Nice. 
Yeah, I mean, they, these are nice. These are textured versus the Benchmade ones are smooth. Um, I'm not a fan of the the markings here for Rogue. But, you know, he puts his stuff in there. Uh, it says proper, but to me, it would have been cool if it was smooth or maybe just some, you know. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. The tactile turn pen. So they have these right now on drop. The only difference is they don't have the um, Damasteel, or the, sorry, not Damasteel, Timascus. They don't have the Timascus anode cap or bolt. Yeah, Nick, they're hard to find, buddy. Yeah, a reasonable price on them. But if you see the milling on these, I mean, it's hard to get them focused on the milling, but look at the milling on that. And it goes all the way down to the end. But yeah, they are on drop right now. I think they're about $99 on drop. And they have copper, the titanium like this, and the brass, I believe. Yeah, 1K can buy you one of those new gold class propers. Reasonable and gold class don't go together. Some of them they do. But they do have a high high price for that. Oh, you saw 79 well, yeah, you can't beat it at 79. 99 is the, the retail, I think, then. So they're 20 bucks off on drop. So that's really good. Yeah, I had them hand pick it. Oh, Rodney, number three is on eBay for 1300 Woof. Oh, Jesse, thanks, man. Uh, so this one, so it takes, it'll take quite a few of them. I actually put in this one, I put the um, space pen. So I put the space pen refill in mine and it works great. I think it comes with a Schmidt. Um, what's the Schmidt one? I'm trying to remember the name of that one. But for me, uh, the Schmidt one kept leaking for what I was doing. So I'd end up with ink spots on a lot of my things. But So, so far this works good. I might go with the uh, space pen, the fine point, but we'll see. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I'm waiting on the Tengu too. Yeah, the Easy Flow 9000, exactly. See, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, same thing, Randy. Easy Flow 9K is what comes with them. Which I don't know if you guys do. You guys, have you guys ever tried the Easy Flow? That one like seemed to like when I, when I write with it, it would write out and then um, it would like go to like a thin line half ink or something. And then I was trying to write over it again. It would, and then if I went further down on the paper, like where my hand was. Like maybe my hand oils would mess with the ink when you're writing with it. So what non bench made am I into right now? Yeah, the Tango. This is another one from Urban Survival Gear. It's a mini. The Parker works fine on yours. Okay. Nice. Uh non bench made right now. I would say one I'm carrying. Probably the Spiderco Para 3. And then I'm actually, I just got a Gobi headed my way. So I'm waiting for that Gobi to get in. I'll probably be carrying that. But these are the ones I've, I've been carrying my lightweight. Um, and it's been working great. And I haven't been carrying the carbon fiber one I have very much anymore. So, so I always try to carry two knives. But that's what I've been carrying recently. I've been carrying the black one though. Oh, you're trying to get a Spidey Chef? Nice, Nate. Yeah, this one is beautiful. I'm trying to get... So I talked to Ryan at Death Grips. What's up, Jeff? Welcome. Big Red still cleaning the grill. Nice. I'm on my way, dude. I'll be, I'm will be. i on my way if you're cooking. I do not have any Medford's penny now. Thank you very much, Patrick. Yeah, Nick, totally. I've been working a whole bunch. So I got called in to, to do some training today. So I was glad to do that. They're training some staff to kind of... So what they did was they had some non-essential staff who basically were looking at having to get like laid off or furloughed or something. And so they did some rotation through another area of essential employees. And so they tried to like give some people some days off. And so they took the non-essential staff and they said, hey, you guys are available to come over here and work. They just need a little bit of training. So what that did was it kept them in their benefits. It kept them getting paid. So that was pretty cool. So that was pretty cool. So um, I do not have any CRK or hinderers yet. 
So, yeah, Gregory, uh, Big Red's in Washington. I'm in Oregon. But I'm still on my way, man, if he's cooking. He can just leave it on the porch, you know. Got to maintain social distancing. But uh, these are, I think you can request any of these. He's about four to six weeks out when I talked to him last week. Uh, this is Micarta, spiral shaped in G10. He did some wicked, and it made me think of Blade Banner. Oh, ribeyes. Oh, oof. I'm going to take a flight up there. It's going to take like 20 minutes. Um, but he did some scales in silver twill, carbon fiber with an inlay. And I was like, oh, that's Blade Banner right there. I love that. Oh, nice Rip City. Yeah. And so that's one of those where I'm like, you know, I talked to Ryan because he made a Micarta. It matches this. He made a Micarta backspacer. And I'm like, dude, buddy, I didn't even know that was an option when I bought my scales. So he's going to make one for me. And then I'm going to order some other scales as well at the same time. So I think I'm going to do some Griptilian ones. And then I'm going to go buy another Griptilian from Benchmade. So just don't tell too many people. I don't want my budget to get cut. Because I got I already have your guys' knives on the way in for the giveaway. So, All right. And speaking of giveaway, let's go ahead and do a giveaway. Let me get some of these knives out of here and closed up because I do not want to injure myself. And then when we're done, we can go watch Slicey Dicey and also Justin at OCD for EDC in just a little bit. Throw some support their way. And we'll get out what we're going to do giveaways on tonight. And then I apologize, guys. The big giveaway will be posted this week. Like I said, I wanted to make sure those knives came in. And I just started getting my knife orders in this last week. Um... And then I have something I'm going to show off on Instagram either tonight or tomorrow. And it's going to be something that I got in trade with Rodney. So pretty cool. <laughs> so awesome of you, man. I honestly, you don't even know like how long I have been waiting to get one of those. Oh, you have one coming tomorrow. Nice, Jeff. But I've been waiting a long time to get one. And I was like, the hard part was, is they stopped making them. And so it was kind of like whatever's out there is out there. And so that's fantastic. So here's the, I gotta make sure I got it right here. Hold on. Let me double check. Oh, nice. What's up, Jesse? Jesse B. Okay. I'm trying to remember what it was for. I'll think of it in a minute here. Oh, duh. <laughs> okay. Da -da. So I got some things I picked up. Uh, I picked up uh, something from Shadowborn Hanks. So shout out to him. If you haven't, go check him out. He's got some amazing things. Um, yeah, right on. Little zippered pouch. Digital camo. Perfect size to put things in like, you know, your KPL. Maybe a little bit of like stuff you're going to work on, maybe make yourself a little toolkit or something. So that's going to be one of the things that I'll be giving away. The second will be, I got some of these anodized beads. I know I should have taken that out first. Anyone know the answer? Nobody knows the answer. Yeah, those pouches are rad. I bought a couple different size ones. This is the smallest one. Oh, Slicey Daddy's live in 30. Okay, good. Oof, scared me. Maybe I just got the pop-up. He was doing a reminder to everybody. Anyways, this is kind of a mission failure here. What's up, Neves? Thanks for stopping in. Thank you so much. Happy Easter. Love their video, man. And I heard just heard, this is from uh, Damn Designs. Little aluminum anodized. Yeah, I heard Neves was uh, coming up on the podcast with Ray, Everyday City Carry again. All right, we'll just put this out there. What's up, Michael? So that's going to be there. I know I'm excited on the Oni. I'm waiting for mine. It'll be great. So we got the damn designs. It'll be there. Move these out of the way. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, the poison ones are cool. I have some of those as well. Um, we got a cool little flashlight that was donated from my friends, uh, Rodney and Ryan Pearson. Rodney, thank you so much. It's one of the ultraviolet ones. 
the i3 UV EOS. But the cool part is, what's up, John? Happy Easter. It's not opened. It's unopened. And if you saw Gear Tour Gear's recent uh, swap out, he did one on Instagram, kind of walking through how you can swap this out for a regular one without the UV. But it's always kind of cool. Cool little tricks. And it really helps things that are glow in the dark, glow in the dark. So, so thank you very much. I'm going to put that in there. And then, of course, you'll get a little sticker pack. You know, you'll get some holographic Zach stuff stickers. Yeah, you can see germs. You'll get the orange one and the black one. And we'll probably find maybe another one to throw in there. So you get a little sticker pack. And then the last thing, this is one of my last ones that I have. So I'm going to have to order some more this week and go pick them up. But the guided field sharpener from WorkSharp and Benchmade. This thing has been amazing. Oh, yeah, passwords, it checks for them. That's good. So this is something that I use every day as I mess up with everything. But here's mine right here. Let me show you. I use this all the time. And they make they make them with like yellow and black that you can buy. But these ends are molded. Here, let me just show you on this. So these ends are actually like a molded rubber silicone. And so you can actually hold this end right here and do all your sharpening. And basically the magnetic plates hold them in and you can then basically take your knife and then you just lay it flat on here and then run it across. And then you can bring it across this way. Nope, we're gonna be doing the giveaway here in just a second. And then they have some you know, ceramic rods in here, different ones for fishing uh, hooks, a fine and a coarse. And then they have a fine and a coarse and then a leather strop on the back edge here. So I really like these. I think it's one of the best products that's out there right now for you guys. And so that's why I buy them. That's why I give them away to you guys. Because I want you guys to have something that you can keep in your shop, keep in your rig, keep your house, keep it work, throw your knife on it. And surprisingly enough, even ones that are pretty dull, put a really nice edge back on it, usable one. Oh no. Well, we're going to do it right now. So what I want you to do, what's up Mark's gear? is it'll be a two letter guess like a a b b c c d d something like that but it'll be different mixed up two letters go ahead and start guessing and i will tell you to stop when i see somebody that answers correctly and then i will go ahead and have rodney help me out because i want to make sure that we get it correct make sure your caps lock is on it really helps And it's crazy because what I'm looking at only shows like three answers at a time. And then they just go flying by. Tad. <laughs> Tad's funny. But I will go back through and just kind of look at it. I will give a guess if we don't see it here in a little while. But it's one of the things that I just want to make sure that I give something back to you guys. Especially since you guys are kind and you've, you've donated to my channel. You, you support my channel. And just the interaction is awesome. So, one of those things. We're getting close. I've seen a couple close ones. Nothing right on yet. You guys are you guys are thinking I like the thought process it'll be something related to well I can't really say it's on the table but something timely yeah Rodney I'm definitely gonna need your help on this one
So I can either give you guys a guess of what the first letter is, or we can go with what it's directly related to. With, which if I tell you what it's directly related to, it's gonna go quick. Okay, I think I saw it. I know I saw one right answer. So let me get the paper out here, slide this over. Where'd my paper go? My paper, paper, paper. It's underneath there, there it is. Okay, so we can go ahead and stop guessing. Thank you, Rodney, thank you. So don't forget to check out like Pearson Custom Knives on Instagram. Um, don't forget to also check out Shadowborn Hanks, JD over there. So go ahead and stop guessing. We have a correct answer that's already been on the board, which was ES. ES. Thanks, John West. I appreciate that. Thanks, Jesse. So that's the current and correct answer for the winner. Thanks, Patrick. And I think what I saw, I'm going to go back through, but Rodney, if you wouldn't mind doing the same, I saw a correct guess with Mark Grant at 4.38 p.m. Pacific time. So that's going to be one of the ones that I saw. I will be going back through and double checking it here. But there's a lot of guesses, a lot of guesses. I didn't. It's one of those, do you make it too easy, too, <laughs> too hard? So. It's all good, Tony. No problem. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Big Red. Appreciate you guys. Well, I have to say... Happy Easter, you guys. Rodney, if you see the same thing, let me know. Slicey Dicey is going to be on soon. Shortly after that, it's going to be Justin over at OCD for EDC. Thank you, Rodney, very much. Thank you guys all for tuning in. It was so awesome to give back to you guys. So awesome to show off some of my collection. This week, I will be posting my 5,000 giveaway because the knives are in. One last one's here, so that's good. Mark, just send me an email or a message. We'll get it shipped out to you tomorrow. Thank you, Jesse B. I appreciate that. Thank you all to you guys who have donated. Uh, putting it right back into the channel, right back to you guys for the next giveaway. Um, be doing another live next weekend. Might do one sooner. I'm going to definitely show off the stuff that I traded with Randy um, because he, he hooked me up, so that's pretty cool. This community is awesome. You guys have an awesome rest of your day, awesome rest of your Easter Sunday. Please continue to be kind to everyone. We're all going a little bit um, cabin fever-ish right now, but I know we got it. We've been doing great. So have an awesome rest of your weekend. Have a great week. Do something kind for someone and take care.